Love is love follows individuals looking for love. Our love seekers have tried it all, but nothing has worked. So, on Love is Love, our love seekers shared everything about themselves, hoping to attract the love of their lives. 30 year old dancer Shimino Kun, formerly known as Shimine, has been solo for most of her life. Let's see if the performer can find the perfect partner. My name is Shimine Kirin. I'm originally from Cape Town, currently residing in Ferndale, Johannesburg. I'm 30 years of age. The reason for joining the show, I mean, what a fantastic chance to be here, meeting people, you know, and who doesn't love love? I'm really looking forward to meet the guys, having a fun full day full of activities, laughter, and I chose my mom to walk with me on this fantastic journey. I picked my mom because she's very good at psychoanalyzing people and with the dating life nowadays, especially with social media, you really need to intimidate them so that they are a bit more honest about their intentions. I feel very honoured being chosen by Shimane to represent her and help her find a good partner. Sometimes she gets very lonely, so she needs good friends. Everyone needs a good friend. My mom supported me throughout my life. She is a very strong woman, and she also taught me to be tough because sometimes I have a habit of overthinking, and she'll tell me, like, you know, not to think about it too much and to focus on my life and myself. I try to always give her advice, and then she takes it. You want your, your children to be happy. I'm fun, I'm vivacious, I'm bubbly. I can be a little bit over the top. I know loyalty is a rare commodity these days. It's very easy for me to stick to one guy. I like a guy with a fit body. I know it sounds superficial, but you should actually take care of yourself as a man. I like a guy that looks good, smells good, then cuts his hair, you know, that makes the most of himself. I couldn't be with someone that's too serious because I'd probably get bored. <laughs> Lonely. Very lonely. I hope Shimine finds the one she's looking for. Now oh, he seems cool. I want to get to know him a bit better. My name is Romeo CBC. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Foley's. I'm an entrepreneur, a law student, and an overall hustler. After graduating a safety management degree, I decided to continue studying and further my studies with law. For me to be able to pay through my tuitions and get through life, I decided to join my, my older brother in his bike industry. We do deliveries with the bikes, get a multitude of bikes doing deliveries. The reason I decided to enter Love is Love is because with everything going on in my life, I don't get the time to go out and socialize as much. What I'm looking for in a partner, basically, is someone who is kind, loving, someone who would be doing unto others as they would like to do unto them. So looking at Shimane's profile, I feel like she is a very young, attractive, energetic individual. The fact that she's sporty, she's energetic, she's adventurous, and she likes to travel. I really think she'd be a great match for me. Rudy! Okay. He's, He's a sweetie. Yeah. My name is Rudy Klopper. I'm 32 years old from Northliff, Johannesburg. This is my little dog, MJ. I'm also a barista and a bartender. I love to be outdoors and in nature. Or when I'm not at work, I like to be cycling and take my dog out. She also loves to get out the house. I really enjoy my job. I love to make drinks for people and make coffees and try to let them have a pleasant day. My job does not really help me find relationships because I'm actually too busy. I don't really get enough time to interact with people. Plus, I don't want to be asking my clients for their numbers. You know what I mean? What I'm looking for in a partner are traits like honesty and loyalty, be fun and adventurous, and a little bit of spontaneity. It must be easy to get along with and just be able to have a good time. What I hope to gain from this experience is obviously to meet someone, hopefully, and maybe learn a bit more about myself in the process and just to try and put myself out there in the dating world again. Let's see, we have uh, Shimane. Oh, that's an interesting name. She's a 30-year-old dancer from Johannesburg. So we're about the same age. She's quite pretty. She looks like a fun and interesting person. Can't wait to get to know her. Mukoni. No, he's got a very distinguished look. I like him. And he's in Johannesburg. My name is Mukoni Munjani. I'm 40 years old. I'm a salesman by profession. I'm in Mapeta, my home, where I normally work from. I don't like to sit around, so 
whenever I go out, I make sure that I sell something, which brings me something as a hobby. I went online to look for love, as it's something new that I have never done before. The way I've been looking did not work for me. In the partner, I'm looking for someone who's loyal, passionate, a go-getter, someone who thinks outside the box. Shimone, the TA dancer. Shimone is mommy's blue-eyed girl. That's why she chose her as a best friend. My goodness. I think the qualities a guy should have is loving, kind, adventurous, and I think he won't be sorry because she's quite a loving, loyal person and she loves adventure. At the end of the day, when things don't work out, she always comes to mommy. <laughs> I don't know, it just seems like a nice challenge. It, it seems quite exciting and different, and why not? <laughs> you are brave just for being here. What do you do when you get a barista? Smells like coffee and an entrepreneur. Mmm, they smell of money. And a salesman, sounds like they're selling your dreams. A chance to find love, of course. It's time to rock and boat. It's a sunny day in Johannesburg, and love is in the air. I can smell it too. Shimine is trying to fit in a quick bowling practice with her mom to make sure she can sweep her dates off their feet. The day's finally here. I'm looking forward to meeting my potential partner. Can't wait. I mean, what a nice way to check out someone's personality in a bowling alley. Pure fun. All right. You better just teach me this game. Okay, Yay! that is a rotten... <laughs> That's a rotten shot. I have bowled, but a couple of years ago. It's been really long, so I'm probably quite rusty. Uh, excellent, excellent. <laughs> so I'm really excited to finally meet uh, this lady I've been seeing online. And I'm a bit nervous, but hey, I mean, all's well that ends well. Romeo, Romeo, how old art thou? I'm Romeo. Oh, my name's Shimano. Nice to meet you, Shimano. <laughs> do you yeah. care to join us? Yes, yes, I do, actually. <laughs> okay. Well, let me just grab my shoes and then I'll be with you guys. Okay. <laughs> On first impressions, I think she's uh, a bit too loud, or well, louder than expected, a bit more energy. Guess maybe I'll get used to it. You know what they say, if the volume is too loud, then you're too old. I'm quite excited to meet Shimane, a little bit nervous. I'm really keen to see what's going to happen next. My name is Rudy. My name is Shimane. Oh, nice. You look very lovely oh, today. You look pretty dope as well. Oh. So meeting Shimane for the first time, I was quite impressed. She's very pretty and she looks even better than her profile picture. Ooh la la la. <laughs> I'm really excited to meet her in person so I can engage with her, talk to her hopefully connect with her. Hi. Hi, how are you? Fantastic, what's your name? My name is Mukoni. Oh, my name is Shimano. It's nice to know you, eh? <laughs> nice to finally meet you. My first impression when I got to meet her, I gave her a hug and she smelled good and she looked good and I felt like she's the one. Can't wait to actually finally join you guys. Seeing these guys, I thought they were rather attractive and well-groomed, but not over the top. There's definitely potential in these guys. She's very lucky, I must say. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. They look exactly like they did when I looked at them on the website. They're a lot cuter in person. They seem a bit shy though, but I'll get them to loosen up. Go, go, go. Looks like some pretty stiff competition. The guys seem like good people and we all seem a bit nervous and excited, ready to take this game on. Yeah, it's a best. We had a bet, whoever gets the most strikes gets her on. <laughs> of course. I've done bowling before and it's a pretty relaxing sport. I've got this, I'm probably gonna win. Close, yeah. close, 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 close. Let me show you how it's done, let me show you how it's done. <laughs> the energy is quite competitive. We all wanna see who's gonna hit the bowls in. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> From a salesman's point of view, Mukoni is ready to pitch for love. <laughs> Mukoni! <laughs> it's a good energy, and we are all engaging with one another, even though we are competing. So I like that. My first impression of Rudy, he seems a sweet guy, a bit shy, but I'm sure I can get him to open up a bit. He can do better. Romeo actually seems very charming, like he's got charisma and confidence and so forth. It's easy, when you throw it, <laughs> just try to follow this, you see. This yeah. oh. I think Mkoni is very manly, he seems very self-assured, he's got a quiet confidence that radiates. I'm ready to get to know all these guys and have a conversation one-on-one -on -one with each of them. What do you like in a partner? Being a woman, I'd go for high IQ, high EQ as well. 
Because you can't just be smart and then not be emotionally in tune with your own intelligence. The conversation is going fantastic. You know, he's actually a very fun, fun-loving guy. He's got goals as well. And he actually knows where he wants to be in his life, which is very important. There's a saying that my dad taught me, right? Don't look for a girl that's going to say, babe, I'm hungry. Please. But go for a girl that's going to say, babe, have you eaten? You know, wow. there's, there's, there's a different aspect when it comes to that. Because yes. one is actually caring enough about you instead of caring only for herself. What I like of Romeo is he seems to be a fun guy that, I, you know, that you can go to the club with, be on the social scene with. He's also very charming. And you're a Scorpio, right? Yeah, actually, yeah. So uh, it's one of my toxic male masculinity traits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, toxic femininity is also a thing now, man. <laughs> The chat is actually going pretty smooth. Nothing too hectic, it's just flowing. He seems very, like, flirtatious. He knows how to talk with women, so that's making me wonder, hmm. Chatting to Romeo, I feel he's well-adjusted. The only thing is he seems to be, you know, a roving eye for the ladies. So I wouldn't know if he could be that committed. What are you looking for in a partner? I'm looking for things like loyalty, mm. honesty, respect, <laughs> being able to be comfortable and open with each other. What I like about Rudy, he's very down to earth and very friendly, a little bit reserved, which is great because I don't mind asking questions. So what do you do for fun? Try to play guitar and make music. I love singing, so I think we would have something in yeah, common yeah. there because you're... Could maybe make something together, yeah, make some music. Yeah, of course. That actually sounds Sounds fantastic because he's in the guitar. I love dancing and singing, so there could be a collaboration for the future too. Who knows? Okay, so I'm really great at cocktails. Anytime you need a drink, just hit me up. I think Rudy can serve double shots of love drinks on Rudy, baby. Shamine is displaying some of the qualities that I like. She seems like a loyal person, and we do have similar tastes in music. It seems like we would get along. He has his five-year plan, which is actually great. He has common interests, but that doesn't make a long relationship. So what are you looking for in a partner? Someone who's loyal, someone actually honest and integrity. Uh-huh, of course. Yeah, who's driven. Uh-huh, uh -huh. Someone who knows what she wants. Yes, yes, yes. Someone who actually compliments me. He seems a bit mature. I would actually like to bring out his more fun side. I also hear that you can sing. Oh, no, please don't ask me to sing. My voice is gone. <laughs> yeah, but for now, of course, but eventually. Of course, I would sing something. <laughs> what I like about McCorney is he's got a very relaxed nature. I'm sometimes a bit high energy, so it's good to have someone that's maybe the opposite to me that can let me chill down and relax as well. Maybe I can show you some moves later on yeah, in one I'm, of our dates. I would like that. <laughs> high five. Like, she is displaying what I'm looking for. Like first, she's positive, she's energetic, she knows what she wants. He seems to know what he wants, but he's working on it. He's not totally on his feet as yet. He knows where he's going, he has direction. He's a bit too mature and serious for my daughter. How's your dates going? Yes. They actually seem like really nice guys. Yes. All three of them, actually. You know, my mom has given me some good insight into the guys as well. Um, Which one? You know what? Rudy actually suggested that he make me a cocktail. Ulterior motives, who knows? <laughs> You know, and what what's his goal plan? I didn't actually ask him. Well, that is very important as well. I actually, like all of them, and I think it would be really hard to choose just one. Actually, I like all three of them. Just like choose all of them and make the simple. <laughs> I think the choice is yours. Just follow your heart. Yeah. And see how it goes. She did say I should follow my heart though, and that is going to be a bit tricky. Aye, long day, guys. Yeah. How are you feeling? Sit with the hot woman. Ha, you can't complain. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm about to choose a date. Gosh, I'm actually quite nervous. I don't know what to do. I, you know, I love all you guys. I wish I could be 50 cents in a candy shop and choose all three of you. The person that I'm going on a date with is... You're getting a sugar rush from these sweet temptations. <laughs> but as your mom says, you can only pick one. You can't have your bread buttered both sides. It's been a great day, but now it's time to get down to business. The person that I'm going on a date with is... I'm thinking, oh, it's a tough competition, but hey, may the best man win. Pretty nervous and excited and wondering who she's going to pick, because the other gents are quite strong contenders. I am confident, not necessarily nervous, because I think we connect. Rudy, do you want to go on a date with me? Oh, wow. Um, I would love to. <laughs> 
See, I knew she'd be impressed by my bowling skills. <laughs> so I'm quite shocked that she picked me. I thought one of the other guys was going to win. But in the end, it looks like the better man won. He seems a very down-to-earth, gentle guy. He's loyal, and loyalty is a, a quality that I admire the most. Conquest, oh, guys. Dog. Conquest, better luck next time. <laughs> well, I think she really picked the great guy. Opposites attract, so she's a very bubbly type person, and Rudy is a very calm, collective individual. So I think they'll make a great match. I didn't expect that. I would say she did what's best for her. Me and Rudy are both creatives. I'd really love to do something artistic for our date to bring out our creative juices. I thought the first dates were all about breaking the ice and not the glass. Peaky licking, peaky. For our date, it's going to be a stained glass class. I think it would be quite nice because we're both autistic, so it would be a lovely way to get our creative juices flowing. I'm looking forward to spending some time with Shimane. I worked hard for this moment, and I was the best man, and I won. Hey guys, welcome. I'm Lee. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, Shimane. Rudy, nice Hi, to meet Rudy. you. Today you're going to be doing a stained glass class. What we're going to do is we're going to score and break glass. Okay. Let's go through the booklet, see which templates you want to create and then we'll take it from me. What I am looking forward to the most in this date, it would be nice to challenge myself, to do a nice activity I've never done before, get to bring out Rudy's talkative side. This is nice. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, this is cool. Seems easy enough. <laughs> I've never done a stained glass class before. I'm looking forward to it and I can't wait. Oh, before we go, I got something I think you might like. Oh, really? Yeah, it's just a little token of appreciation. Oh, wow. That's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Very beautiful. I'm surprised about the gift. It's quite pretty. Yeah, I like it. He does seem a little bit shy though, so I wanted to bring out his more talkative side and get to know him a little bit better. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to select from the different drawers the colours that you want. You're going to grab a piece of glass and you're going to make sure that it covers your individual little template pieces. Cool, let's choose some pieces. Okay. So I'm looking forward to see if we get along, if we have some common interests, and just to see how we connect. What colours are you going to go for? Maybe pink, green, fuse it together. I don't know which ones I want. <laughs> We're actually on a very relaxed vibe today because we've gotten over the nerves after our first initial date, so we've got a more relaxed vibe. Okay, well, I've got all my colours. Yay! Oh, mine. Wow, that looks yeah, pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool, let's go. I feel like I made the right choice for entering. It's nice to get to meet someone and have the chance to get to know them. You're going to put your wheel on the edge. You're going to push down. It's got a little spring action. So do you need to press quite hard? You do. Um, you want to listen for that noise. Oh, I love breaking things. <laughs> Checkmate. Shimine better be ready. Because it seems like Rudy is pouncing for the queen. It is. Rudy is not as shy as I thought he is, so I underestimated him. He is definitely quite talkative and funny too, which is something I didn't quite expect. Oh, try to go a little bit closer. Like, you have to go literally right along the edge. Uh-huh. Damsel in the work. stress moment. <laughs> Cutting the glass is a bit of a challenge, but I'll just continue with the activity and we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll get much easier. I'm so surprised and glad that you chose me. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. No, I, was, I was thinking you'd go for Romeo. Yeah. Oh, well, Romeo's a lovely guy, but I think he's a little bit too well versed with the woman. <laughs> and you seem to have oh, more. See, I, I'm inexperienced. That's what <laughs> you know, a cat will play with its prey first. You don't <laughs> want... So, uh, am I the cat or the prey? Oh, good question. <laughs> but you know, maybe I underestimated you. You're not as shy as I thought you were, actually. No, trust me, I'm incredibly shy. <laughs> I'm just a bit nervous, maybe I'm talking too much. I think the activity is helping us because it gives us a little bit of a distraction and something to do while we talk each other and you know when there's those dull moments, you know we have something to focus on and then we can get back to getting to know each other. Bring me your love, bring me your cup. Shimine better bring an extra cup because Rudy seems like he's got so much to give. I really like that Rudy is funny. He doesn't take himself too seriously, which is fantastic. Rudy shows his sensitivity first, but then you find out he's actually very articulate and quite a comic. What I like about Shimane, she's very bubbly and energetic, very easy to get along with. And so far, I haven't found anything that I dislike about her. I think we would make a good match. Let's do this. Let's get to the grinding. Oh, that's a cool leaf. What is that? Uh, it's like uh, some rustic colours. Bob Molly. I really like the colours of your flowers. <laughs> flower the orange flower. and the blue. The way they contrast. <laughs> it's a lovely contrast. It's art. So how are you coping there? 
Uh, I'm doing quite well. It's kind of scary. It's like, so intimidating. What happens if you touch this with your finger? <laughs> so, uh, what kind of music are you into? Um, hip hop music. I like rock. I like trance. Okay, so a bit of everything. A bit of everything. Well, the conversation is going smooth. Me and Rudy, we do have some things in common. You know, music is therapy. So that's what me and Rudy would have in common. Back in the day, I nearly did piano, but that piano teacher was so strict it sort of put me off. And, and then I started to uh, dance. Afterwards. I mean, I've actually been dancing from as young as four years old. Okay, and what kind of dancing do you do? Freestyle, hip hop. You know, I was inspired a lot by uh, Michael Jackson. You know, I've been moonwalking okay. since four years old. So, uh, can you show us a moonwalk then? <laughs> <laughs> I think I would Maybe definitely later. Yeah, maybe later. <laughs> Grinding and doing the moonwalk. Come on, man. You dance. <laughs> no, I'm white after all. I dance <laughs> you like know, a white guy. Too, too, two left feet. Yeah. <laughs> I should teach you some moves. I think we have some things in common. I found out we went to the same school. We have similar tastes in music. And yeah, we get along quite easily. So what kind of partner would you say you are? Uh, I would like to think I'm fun, uh -huh. but I'm also loyal and respectful. And you? What kind of partner do you think you are? <laughs> I am very uh, talkative, but that's a good thing. You know, but I also know when to keep quiet. Do you look after your partner? Like, do you cook and clean and things like that? Of course. <laughs> I actually of course, got you have to know these kind of things, you know? Of course. You can't just be sitting there with your nails and expect yeah. your partner to go and do everything. Yeah, it's got to be like a team effort. You yes, know? like I'm quite good at cooking. So you'll do the food and I'll do the drinks? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How about a cocktail of romance and a cocktail of music together? Mm has a nice twist of love to it. I actually struggled to cut the glass at first and Rudy helped me. At least he's very helpful. I want to see how yours is going to turn. Oh, wow. Yours is looking great so far. I don't know. I'm just trying to connect these Whoa, two So leads. shaky. <laughs> you are nervous. Okay. I'm not even nervous. It's just I think it's coming along good. It's, it's, <laughs> it's harder than it looks. It is. This activity is starting to become a real breeze. I did have a rocky start and the soldering is the easiest part for me. Rudy is a bit behind. <laughs> I'm beating him. <laughs> well, it's been really nice getting to know you. It's been nice getting You're to know you. You're a great know. communicator. Oh, thank you. You're not as shy as I thought you were. <laughs> yeah, no. It takes me a little while to yeah, open up. And he estimated you at first. I thought, oh, shy sure do, do. But um, yeah. <laughs> hey, I think mine's about done. Yeah, mine too. Oh. This has been a lot of fun. It's actually really fun. And you know what? I think we should uh, exchange these as a token of uh, to show what a great day it was. This is really fun. Man, this is so pretty. <laughs> I really love the gift that Rudy gave me. It's really pretty. That would actually remind me of my dates with her, and this was really enjoyable. So I'm gonna take that and put it in my garden, and every time the sun shines of it, I'll think of him. I think it's a cool thing that we got to exchange it, and it'll be a little memory for the both of us. I'm gonna put it in my garden for sure. A relationship could happen between me and Rudy, but I like to get to know people a little bit more, take it as friendship and let it grow from there. You know, especially in today's life, it's not just good to just jump into things. I would like to see Chimene again, maybe in a more private setting without all the cameras. My ideal dates, I don't know, something like a glass of wine or a cocktail, something like that. I think it'll be fun. Rudy wants to take this date to a happy hour. Hey! It looks like this date was shaken and not stead. Another feel-good production.